Hello guys, welcome to my presentation on the data link layer and we'll talk about auto negotiation. Some of the parameters that devices on Ethernet negotiate are speed, duplex mode and flow control. Only the speed and duplex modes will be discussed in this presentation. Speed refers to the maximum supported number of bits that each device can transmit from its interface every second. This is also the rate of data transfer and reception that the network interface card of the device supports. Duplex mode defines the direction-based communication between devices. The duplex modes a device interface support can either be half duplex or full duplex. In half duplex, the sending and receiving of data cannot take place at the same time while in full duplex, the sending and receiving of data can take place at the same time. The early standard of Ethernet required that all network interface cards used for implementing Ethernet have a maximum speed of 10 megabits per second with a half duplex mode of communication. Everything was going well and devices could communicate properly, except that they suffered a major problem, collisions. The coaxial cables were the first types of cables used for Ethernet connections and they consist of only one copper wire for data transmission. This is why only half duplex communication can be implemented with coaxial cabling. As technological advancements were fast rising and network requirements grew, the chips on network interface cards were improved to support fast Ethernet. Transmission speeds of up to 100 megabits per second and a full duplex mode of communication were supported. To implement full duplex communication over the physical wiring, the coaxial cable had to be replaced by the twisted pair cables, which allowed for reception and transmission of data over different wire pairs. However, one major problem devices encountered was incompatibility. If you connect two devices together, such that one device was using the old chips that allows a 10 megabits per second transmission, and the other device was using the new chip that supports a 100 megabits per second speed, the device with the new chip will have no problem receiving data at 10 megabits per second, but the device with the old chip will be overloaded and could lose a great portion of the data that it receives. The auto-negotiation technology was designed to solve this problem. It is only implemented in the new network interface cards. Today, network interface card supports gigabit Ethernet, which allows up to 1000 megabits per second transmission speed and full duplex communication. When devices are connected using a cable, they send electrical pulses to each other, which they use to negotiate for optimal speed duplex mode and flow control for communication. The negotiation is based on the following. 1. If PCA supports auto negotiation and PCB does not support auto negotiation, both devices use the default 10 megabits per second transmission and half duplex mode of communication. 2. If PCA supports auto negotiation, and PCB supports auto negotiation, both devices choose the fastest speed and best duplex modes supported by both. 3. If PCA supports auto negotiation and PCB disables its auto negotiation function, the working mode for both will be based on the working mode of PCB, provided that PCA has those capabilities. 4. If PCA and PCB disable their auto negotiation function, the working mode that will be manually configured must be the same for both devices to communicate properly. In the event that the link establishment fails, a mismatch of these parameters could be the reason for the failure. Check out the questions on the next slide. Watch out for CSMA slash CD on Ethernet to understand how Ethernet handles collisions to allow for communication between devices. Please leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, and share so others can benefit too. 
Thank you for watching.